hello guys you're back with our next lecture in this lecture let us go through the next question that is gate is csc 2010 question 53 guys okay a hash function of length 10 hash table of length 10 uses open addressing with hash function h of k mod 10 using linear probing after inserting six values into a empty hash table the table is shown below okay so how many different insertion sequences of the key values using the same hash function and linear probing will result in the hashing table shown below okay so now this question is a bit different guys if you observe carefully so basically here he is asking how many different sequences can be found okay so now let us understand the logic here so how many values are exactly at their locations guys so this is exactly at its location 2 2 is matching 3 3 is matching 4 4 is matching and 6 6 is matching so basically 42 23 okay 34 and 46 came in some order initially okay so after that what they what came guys after that 52 came after 52 33 came so this is the exact order in which they came okay yes so now let us start analyzing them okay so if you observe carefully okay okay so there is one more twist also in this okay so the twist is so these four can be in any random order right hence this is four factorial the combination all the combination so basically this is a question which relates to both permutation and combination as well as hashing okay so here the combination could be anything so any order you give it's okay but when it comes to these two the order is fixed but there is one more condition okay so 33 can come off before after 46 so basically 46 can enter this part also so basically after 42 23 34 you can have 52 after 46 after 33 so basically these three are also having some combination guys okay yes so if you observe carefully okay so if you observe carefully again these three can also have different different combinations right yes okay so if you swap these two elements indirectly again these all you can enter in three factorial ways right yes so it is a total of a four factorial plus three factorial guys so what will be the result of four factorial what is the value guys it is nothing but 24 three factorial it is nothing but six so the total is 30 so the option c should be the correct answer got the idea right so basically first what we did is we checked which are at its exact location so we got four elements okay so after that we assumed that these four elements are in the exact order and these next two elements which are in wrong location are in though in their exact order that's nothing but 52 and 33 okay yes so once you understood that logic so we checked this so this elements can be arranged in any order right yes but a small logic which we have identified after identifying that four factorial is that for that we identified that so for 52 can be inserted before 46 also because 46 is after 52 right yes so if you change this order so again we could get some combinations so right so here we are having three elements so three factor will be the combination so four factorial plus three factorial in total it is 30 so 30 will be the answer okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea right so how we are concluding that 30 is the right answer okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you